In this video, we're going to talk about one of the new features with InTouch 2020, which is the ability to publish data directly from your InTouch application to your historian. In previous versions, if we wanted to accomplish this, we'd have to go to the historian and manually create the tag, or we could use an import utility wizard that would go to the InTouch application and import those tags and then start logging that information. With the 2020 version, it's much easier. It's basically a checkbox that says, we want to push this data to the historian. You give it the name of the historian, and it will automatically create the data over at the historian. One of the other benefits of this method is the ability to store and forward the data. So if the historian goes down or we lose a connection to the historian, the InTouch node will buffer that data up locally. And then once the connection comes back, it'll backfill the data without any data loss to the historian. So let's go take a look and see how this is configured. You can see here I have a running InTouch application with some simulated data driving the tank levels. Let's go into development environment and go see how this is configured to push the data to the Wonderware historian. So if we go look at the tag name dictionary, this is really nothing new here, but just want to point out what needs to be checked to be able to push the data to the historian. This checkbox here that says log data, that's not new, that's been around for a long time, but we need to have that checked to be able to push the data to the Wonderware historian. The other setting we need to do is we need to go configure the historical logging under configure historical logging. And what's new here is the ability to enable storage to the historian. That's a new feature with 2020. We have to give it the name of our historian, the host name. In this case, it's just local host because everything running on one box. And we have to give it a store and forward directory. That's the place that's going to buffer the data if we lose that connection to the historian. So it'll basically catch up after the fact. There's some advanced settings here also. This has to do with if you're going into store and forward mode, basically what we don't want is the system to start flooding the network with the backfilling of the data. We want to dribble that data across while it's getting the uh, new information. So this pre-processing, how much data and the store and forward threshold and what's the minimum time that goes into a store and forward mode. We also have the ability to compress the data to save some bandwidth here. So I'm going to accept these changes by hitting OK here. I'm going to go to runtime, and we're going to basically start logging that data to the Wonderware historian. If those tags did not exist, those tags will be automatically created on the Wonderware historian. Then we can start seeing that information. So now we have our InTouch application running again. Let's go take a look over at the historian and see if we have those tags. So if I open up my historian client, there's these tags, triangle, triangle one, two, three, four. We'll take four of those guys, drop them onto our trend, and you can see we started now trending that information. We can put this into a live replay mode, and it's starting that data. So before those tags didn't exist, there was no information coming in. So at this time, we're logging the data from that InTouch application, pushing it over to the historian, and seeing that in a live trend mode. So let's take a look behind the scenes what's happening at the historian. You can see I have the system management console opening, looking at the status of the historian, and everything is up and running. If I click on my data acquisition tab, you can see these are the data sources that are pumping data to the historian. I have some engines here. This is information coming from a system platform uh, Galaxy have running on this node. But if you look at the view application, this is where the InTouch application that we just configured is pushing the data over to this historian. You can see it's receiving 20 tags. So just a little bit of status information that you can see where the data is coming from on the historian. So now you can see that data coming from that InTouch application in our trend example here. Let's do one thing. We talked about that store and forward capability. We're going to go here and shut down the historian. So if I click on the status, right click on the status, all tasks, I'm going to shut down and disable this historian. You can see we're starting to stop some of the processes they're running to keep the historian running. So you can see our historian is stopped 
and if I look at my trend application over here, you're going to see that the data indeed is flatlined. So I'm not getting any new information. So the, the trend is frozen, the historian's down, so I'm not getting any data. But the good news is that my InTouch application is buffering all that data. So when I bring that historian back online, we should see the data being backfilled. So you can see my trend is blank now because there's no historian running in the background to retrieve information. So we're going to go start the historian and then see the data start coming back in. I'm going to go here and enable the historian to run. And you're going to see all the processes start up. And then we should start seeing live information coming on the trend. So at this point, you can see all the historian components are up and running. And we're starting to see the new live data coming on the trend. You know, we still have this gap of data here. So let's keep an eye on this and see if the store and forward kicks in. So we're waiting for the store and forward, that file that's being written to the disk on the InTouch application. Data takes a few minutes typically to get pushed over to the historian. And once it does, we'll see this data live on the trend. So just then that data caught up. You can see the trend file got completed. All the data from the InTouch application in those store and forward files get pushed over to the historian. It loaded that information into the history block. So now you can see where we have an outage at our historian or a network connection loss. We won't lose any of that data. We will buffer that data up locally at the InTouch application and we will catch back up. So thank you for watching today. If you have any questions about what you saw in this video, please contact me at the email address on the screen. Thanks again.